Kevin Durant is one of the best players of this century and is widely regarded as one of the most dangerous scorers in NBA history with his 7 foot frame and lethal range. But if you talk to most people, he isn't looked at as one of the top 10 players of all time. I took a look at a bunch of top 10 lists and gave an average based off how often players ranked in accordance with others' opinions. Most of them were very obvious like MJ and LeBron, but then it started to dip off and most of the picks seem interchangeable with each other. This is obviously due to opinion, but it is helpful information for us. But you see that at the very end? That's Kevin Durant, getting less top 10 votes than the likes of Hakeem, Oscar, Dirk, and Steph. Now Steph has cemented himself as the 10th best player of all time after his fourth championship in 2022, finally getting that elusive finals MVP. But KD, not at the top 10, and much less gatekept by guys who played 50 years ago? Well, yeah. See, before 2022, the top 10 looked something more like this. While I think Curry has a lock in the top 10, someone has got to go to make room for KD. All right, Kevin Durant, 13-time All-Star, four-time scoring champ, two-time NBA champ, 10-time All-NBA pick, one MVP, two finals MVPs, and for me, he's easily the greatest scorer of all time. Like, I don't even think it's close. Uh, names that come to mind are like Harden, Jordan's up there, Kobe's up there, but dude, Kevin Durant, Anywhere you want it, he'll give it to you. It's he's so freaking good, dude. I've I've been so I'm more scared of Kevin Durant than, than I think anybody else I've, I've ever seen in my lifetime, except for LeBron. Um, and being a Clippers fan, obviously, dude, Kevin Durant. I remember in 2019, we were in Golden State. We had like a 0.033% chance to win a game against Golden State. We win. Everyone's talking crazy about the Clippers. And then we, <laughs> I was like, oh no, KD's like healthy. He's gonna come back. He comes back to LA and drops 50 on us to close us out. And it was just, you just know it's coming. And he he slaughters people. It's, I'm more scared of him than I am of anybody. And so that's like the top 10 for me is a mix of a lot of things. It's just my opinion. Like everyone gets thrown in the top 10. I'm not gonna bash anybody else's top 10. And you shouldn't bash mine. That's not the point. It's, it's kind of cool to see everyone's different experiences. I have a legit reason for why Kevin Durant's in my top 10. Like that's it. I'm, I've been scared of him. It's been fun to watch. I've seen him just decimate teams by himself. So my top 10 is Michael Jordan, LeBron, Kareem, Magic, Bird, Russell, Kobe, Shaq, Curry, and KD. So these newer guys are starting to creep in. I think if Curry wins another one, he's got he's got five. That bumps him up to top five. Like he beats out Bird just with five titles, being the greatest shooter of all time. There's there's like achievements and then like legacy. like. No one, no one questions why LeBron's at second, but everyone knows that he's at least number two. If he's not one, he's two. He's never three. I've, I rarely see LeBron, unless they like hate LeBron at, at number three. Uh, and you, that shows in my graph. The majority of people said LeBron and MJ are one and two. That's just, he, he only had, he had three rings for a long time. Now he's got four. Just the greatness of LeBron James shoots him up into that second slot. And I think that's the same with Curry and KD and all these guys. Russell has 11 championships. I don't think he's ever gonna leave the top 10. You just, I don't think he can at that point. Um, but who did, I, who did I leave out? I left out Tim Duncan. Now, Tim Duncan, he's in the Hall of Fame. I think Kevin Durant will be in the Hall of Fame, but right now Duncan is in the Hall of Fame. He was a 15 time All-Star in 18 years, five time NBA champ, 15 time All NBA, 15 time All Defensive, three finals MVPs and two regular season MVPs. Now that's extremely impressive, but I don't know. Once again, Clippers, I, I've just seen him be beat. I've seen KD be beat as well, um, but I was never like scared of Duncan. I'm not, I'm not knocking him for being not flashy. That's just who he is. Um, but I've just been more scared of KD. I think KD is a more polarizing figure. I think he's done more for the game of basketball than Tim Duncan has. Phenomenal player. It's extremely close. Duncan is a strong, strong 11. Like that gatekeeping at 11 is going to be tough because the next guys like Jokic and Giannis have to really be generational talents to pass Tim Duncan to, and to make it to 11. Like it's, we're getting, we're getting some really freaking good players. So once again, KD, I mean, 13 time all-star, four time scoring champ, like two time NBA champ. And I think he could get more. He might be able to get another ring before he, he retires. 10-time All-NBA, that's going to grow. One MVP, two finals MVPs, that might grow. He's already the greatest scorer of all time. And I think I saw a stat, if he averages 25, at least for the next three seasons, he'll be top five in scoring all time, which is what he deserves. He's one of the greatest scorers of all time, and that'll show there. So I think right now, I could see him being top 10, but definitely by the end of his career, he will be the 10th best player we've ever seen in, in play in the NBA. Katie joined the Warriors, yes, but he was the best player on those teams at the time. 
He won two finals MVPs over Stephen Curry and torched everyone's favorite teams. Even though Duncan has five rings, he only has three finals MVPs, meaning that he was not the most valuable player on his own team. KD has more career left than Duncan, obviously, and with the Suns with Book and Beal, you never know. Once KD gets more rings than Wilt and Hakeem, and as many as Bird, I think it'll be a lot less of a hot take to have him as one of the 10 greatest players to ever step foot on the court.